Thomas Tuchel delivers Nagolo Kante and Matteo Kovacic injury update after Chelsea's win against Leeds. The Blues edged the Whites 3-2 on Saturday afternoon, but had to do so without both Kante and Kovacic, with the former being ruled out due to a knee problem, while the latter has been sidelined after testing positive for coronavirus. Jorginho, who scored two goals against Leeds, has been playing with a back injury because of the problems Chelsea have had in the centre of midfield regarding some of their players' fitness. Kante is set to return to full training on Tuesday, which will come as a huge boost for Tuchel and the rest of the squad. Tuchel has issued an update on the Frenchman, as well as Kovacic, who is self-isolating due to the positive Covid test. The Chelsea boss, when asked how important the duo's returns will be, said, it is absolutely crucial because Georgie is sacrificing in the middle of the pitch in games like today when you need two players to drive the ball and pick up good spaces in midfield. It would have been the perfect game for both of them. Kova had symptoms over the last few days. Not too bad is my information, but I don't know the answer to when he is allowed to come back. We need to know what the doctor says and 10 days and some tests to be negative before he can come back. Meanwhile, Trevo Chalabar remains sidelined through a hamstring injury, but Football London understands that the defender will step up his recovery on Monday and is in contention to make the squad for the visit of Everton on Thursday. One man who is fully fit at the moment is Mason Mount, with the Chelsea star in fine form recently. The England international has scored in three successive Premier League matches and Tuchel thinks he is now back to his best after suffering from fatigue earlier in the season. When asked if his form at the start of the season was due to being tired, Tuchel replied, yes and he needs to be, back to his best, because we need him. Getting in the box, it is about connections, who he links with, it depends on which side he plays. But we cannot be surprised that sometimes in the careers of these young players you have difficult moments. This is why they are young players and their careers, it is not the end of the career, but the beginning. So the thing is to take care of him and guide him through these moments, push him, trust him to some degree, because these players always want to play, but now he is back in good shape and showing confidence, and with a bit of luck he is the guy who can win. Antonio Rudiger insists Chelsea must cut out silly mistakes after Leeds win. Antonio Rudiger says Chelsea have to address their recent trend of giving up easy goals after Saturday's dramatic 3 2 victory over Leeds. The Blues bounced back from their defeat to West Ham last weekend, in which individual errors culminated in two goals for the Hammers, to put the pressure back on Manchester City and Liverpool. In a topsy-turvy game at Stamford Bridge, Rafinha put Leeds ahead from the penalty spot after Marcos Alonso brought down Daniel James in the box. Mason Mount got the Blues back on level terms in the first half when he finished from Alonso's cutback, before a fine spot kick from Jorginho saw Thomas Tuchel's side take the lead shortly before the hour mark. The home side were pegged back when substitute Jogel Hart tucked away Tyler Roberts' cross late on, however, Jorginho converted the game's third penalty in stoppage time to earn Chelsea all three points. Despite the victory, Rudiger feels the team are making silly mistakes of late and must stop gifting goals to their opponents. In terms of mentality, we match the game, in terms of quality, no because the goals we conceded were too easy, Rudiger told Chelsea's website. These days we concede a lot of goals which are too easy and we have to address this. If you want to compete for trophies you should not do that type of mistake. We know we need to improve things as quickly as possible. We do silly mistakes, we punish ourselves and give away goals. It's not that the opponents are killing us or outplaying us. Obviously we are missing players, this is clear, but I don't look for excuses. We have a good squad and this is the chance for people now and everyone has to take their chance. Rudiger earned both of Chelsea's penalties against Leeds after late surges into the box, and the centre-back finds it crazy, that he takes up positions so far up the pitch. It is crazy I get myself in positions like this in the last minutes against Manchester United and I was there now against Leeds, he added. For me it's important just to try to help the team and show who I am. I just thought OK, let's go forward as there is nothing to lose.
Chelsea and Liverpool in Premier League quartet interested in Torino defender Gleisen Bremer. Chelsea and Liverpool are interested in Torino defender Gleisen Bremer, with West Ham United and Tottenham Hotspur also believed to be fans of the Brazilian. The 24-year-old has become an integral player for the Serie A side since signing from Atletico Mineiro in 2018 and has been catching the eye in the Premier League for his commanding performances. The centre-back has not only impressed in defence, but also for his goal threat, netting 12 times in 89 games for Torino, which is a tremendous return for a player in his position. The Sun report that Chelsea are at the front of the queue for Bremer as they plan for a potentially huge overhaul of the defence in the summer. The Blues have been excellent at the back since Thomas Tuchel took over earlier this year, but they face something of an exodus with Antonio Rudiger, Andreas Christensen, Thiago Silva and Cesar Aspilicueta all out of contract at the end of the season. Rudiger has been heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid in the summer of 2022, while Cesar Aspilicueta is wanted by Barcelona, while Thiago Silva and Christensen will not be short of suitors either, if they are available on free transfers. The Blues have also been linked with Leicester City centre-back Wesley Fofana as they may well need to sign at least two centre-back and a right-back if all four men do leave at the end of the current deals. Bremer cost Torino just over £5 million in 2018 but would attract a far higher fee, with his Torino contract running until 2023. Patrick Vieira identifies biggest challenge for Chelsea lone star Conor Gallagher after Crystal Palace's win over Everton. Patrick Vieira heaped praise on Conor Gallagher after the midfielder scored a brace in Crystal Palace's 3-1 win over Everton and said the youngster's biggest challenge going forward will be maintaining his current level. The England international, who has also provided three assists since joining Palace on loan from Chelsea, has quickly won Vieira over with his lung-busting performances in the middle of the park and it's clear Thomas Tuchel is also an admirer. However, Vieira, keen to keep Gallagher's feet firmly on the ground, urged the 21-year-old to continue with the same attitude and work rate to ensure he is able to live up to expectations. He wants to improve, he's really humble and working hard, the Palace head coach told reporters shortly after his side's victory. The challenge for him is to maintain that level to fulfil his expectation. Today, he was fantastic, and when the team plays at that level, it allows him and some of the players to express themselves. We have to keep challenging him, we have to keep working with him to keep improving, but he can score goals. We as a team have to play to a style that allows those types of players to score and take their chances. Speaking to Sky Sports in his post-match interview, Gallagher claimed his superb late strike was the perfect way to settle the contest after a fantastic team display. It was definitely the perfect way to settle it. I feel like it was a fantastic performance, he said. Obviously, conceding the goal made it a nervy last 20 minutes, but defended brilliantly and the goal in the end just killed off the game. It was great. This game was massive for us. We had lost the last three so to get three points today was really important. I felt like the performance today was brilliant and to get three points is unreal. Asked where his goal-scoring form has come from, Gallagher joked, some good finishing. The last one, that feeling is incredible. I won the ball back and I had Christian right behind me, telling me to leave it and there was no chance I was leaving it. Chelsea close to agreeing new deals with Thiago Silva and Andreas Christensen. Chelsea have reportedly made a major breakthrough in their attempts to tie down Thiago Silva and Andreas Christensen and are close to agreeing new deals with the centre-back duo. Eyebrows were raised when Chelsea signed Silva, 37, on a free transfer back in August 2020 given the defender had reached the twilight years of his career after calling time on his Paris Saint-Germain spell. Silva has since silenced his doubters across an outstanding opening 18 months at Chelsea, playing a key role in the club's Champions League success and establishing himself as an integral member of Thomas Tuchel's squad. However, there has been mounting uncertainty surrounding Silva's future, with Chelsea already resigned to the fact they may lose Antonio Rudiger. 
Christensen, 25, is also set to become a free agent at the end of the season as it stands but, according to Gianluca Di Marzio, Chelsea are increasingly confident both players will still be on board next term. The report indicates the Blues are one step away from agreeing terms with Christensen. The Denmark international, who has been linked with AC Milan and Tottenham, is expected to put pen to paper on a four-year agreement including the option of a fifth year. Meanwhile, Chelsea hope to agree an extension with Silva in the coming weeks, but resolving Christensen's future is viewed as the priority for the time being. It's claimed Silva's good relationship Tuchel, who he previously worked with at PSG, will likely be key for the European champions in their talks with the veteran centre-half. Tuchel, speaking to the media earlier this month, said he was hopeful, good news, was just around the corner regarding Christensen's delicate contract situation. Asked whether a lack of recent game time hindered Christensen's chances of a new deal, Tuchel told reporters, no, it's the opposite. We have to hope that it influences the contract situation a little bit. My understanding was that it is a matter of a very short period that we have good news. I said this in the national break, that for me it is a matter of days that we think that we can have good news about Andreas. As I understand it, the club want the same, and so do the coach and player. That is to stay, and that's why we need the commitment and then we can continue. Tuchel said it was up to Christensen to prove he can develop and become a big player for Chelsea going forward. We have been waiting since a long time now for confirmation and it is on Andreas to act how he acts on the pitch, the German added. He needs to act now off the pitch and walk the talk because he tells us he loves Chelsea and that he wants to stay. He says he wants to be a big part of this club, because he is a big part, and I think he is a perfect fit. He is not done here yet and his career is far from finished at Chelsea. He can still develop and be a big player. But it is on him. We want the commitment and hopefully we get it. Chelsea stars, fear Aspilicueta will leave on free transfer with Barcelona leading race for defender. Barcelona are reportedly in pole position to prize Cesar Aspilicueta away from Stamford Bridge in 2022 with Chelsea resigned to losing the defender. The Blues skipper, 32, is in the final year of his contract in West London and is free to speak to foreign clubs about a transfer in January. La Liga giants Barker have been heavily linked with a move for the ex Marseille ace as they look to bring him back to Spain. Blaugrana boss Xavi is understood to be a huge fan of his Spanish compatriot with the former midfielder keen for the club to sign him on a pre-contract agreement. And according to ESPN, Chelsea's players and staff are already fearing that the versatile defender will be on his way out next summer. They state that contract talks between the West London outfit and Aspilicueta have not progressed. Sources claim that the two parties are in disagreement about the length of contract. The news outlet also adds that Barca are leading the race to secure his services, while Atletico Madrid are another club interested in him. Aspilicueta is seen as a possible replacement for right-back Kieran Trippier should he make a move back to the Premier League. It has been suggested that Aspilicueta believes a 2022 exit be a good time to depart Chelsea as it would mark 10 years of him arriving from Marseille. Aspilicueta hit out at his teammates earlier in the week after they drew 3-3 away at Russian side Zenit following the defeat against West Ham. The result means that Chelsea surrendered top spot to Juventus in their Champions League group. Letting out his anger, Aspilicueta said, we lost top spot in the Premier League, top spot in the Champions League. We have to face the reality and analyse ourselves. That is on just new today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.